The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents u.s election what happens if trump will not leave the white house in january joe biden won the presidency but in case you hadn't seen his predecessor isn't taking it effectively. What takes place if Donald Trump just won't go? In a typical world, when we specify where the result of a governmental election plainly shows a brand new leader, the attention efficiently shifts to the shift period as power is gradually turned over. It has been clear for a while now that we are not residing in a normal world. Democratic candidate Joe Biden's victory has not been satisfied by concession on the part of his opponent, gracefully accepting hand over the presidency of the United States. In truth, far from expecting a concession speech from Trump, a lot of are expecting to never ever hear one. He does, after all, have several concerns to handle once his immunity has actually ended. Donald Trump is intent on annoying the democratic procedure, introducing a series of stopping working claims and by requiring recounts anywhere possible. Simply put, he is plainly not going to leave quietly. In fact, some have actually begun to speculate that even if a final, license count shows that he has lost, he may not leave. In this bizarre situation, what would take place? There are a number of actions that lead up to a president-elect in Biden's position taking full control of the White House on Inauguration Day, 20th of January, 2021. These include the due date for solving ballot conflicts, of which there are numerous this year in addition to the Electoral College vote which takes place on 14th of December. After that, Vice President Pence will reveal the election results on 20th of January. It's most likely that by then pressure on Trump to accept, at least privately, his defeat will have triumphed. Failing that, there is actually no precedent for a beat president barricading himself in the Oval Office so nobody can state for sure. But once the legal disagreements have been settled and if he is revealed to have lost then he truly has no legal right to stay there. Speaking to the Houston Chronicle, Rice University government teacher Bob Stein stated on the scenario, if the president refuses to leave the office, the Secret Service and the FBI will be on the ground. The FBI and Secret Service control the White House. At that point, I believe you have a national crisis. It is incredibly unlikely that it might ever concern this, but Joe Biden's campaign representative Andrew Bates has actually jokingly suggested that Trump might be removed from the properties. As we stated on July 19, the American individuals will choose this election, stated Bates. And the United States government is completely capable of accompanying intruders out of the White House. Has a president ever declined to leave the White House before? No. Never in United States history has a president ever refused to leave the White House, or peacefully transfer over power. Of the 44 presidents who served prior to Trump, 35 voluntarily ceded power to their successor after either their two-term limitation ended, they lost an election, or they chose not to run again. Eight other presidents passed away and one quit. Is Donald Trump prepared for the fact he lost this election? In a word, no. Along with his public defiance he has actually likewise declined to countenance losing throughout discussions with his inner circle. His sons, Eric and Donald Jr., have both be powerful supporters for him and Vice President Mike Pence has actually been getting funds for his approaching legal battles. CNN has actually reported that some in the White House have actually ended up being frustrated with those who cater the president instead of encouraging him to face the truth. One insider blames staffers, such as Mark Meadows, who have not attempted to come to terms with the president about the reality of what is occurring and have instead fed into his claims of scams. They expose that regardless of having actually now lost the Electoral College the president has actually not prepared a concession speech and in conversations with allies in recent days has actually said he has no intent of yielding the election. 